It's another mystery box, guys. Toys Hallmark? I don't know what that says. Whitman, maybe? Let's take a peek inside. gonna be a good one. Let's pull this all out. Let's see what's in here. All right, top of the box, you saw this. It's Snoopy blowouts. I have never seen these. They are from Hallmark. And it looks like one of them has a little feather on it. Well, it looks like they all used to have feathers. You can, you can see them down here. Four for a dollar. Next up, we've got some Snoopy lunch bags from Connemar. These are probably from late 80s, early 90s. Made in America. Here we have a tiny deck of playing cards. Let's see what's inside. There's the Joker. This does not have the uh, Snoopy Kings and Queens, unfortunately, but they're still great little cards. One of these days I'm going to have those so I can show them to you. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know if you can tell what this is. This is a mobile, mobile. So this, I think is the top. And then you've got all these pieces that hang down from the side. So you've got Snoopy, you've got Linus, Schroeder, Charlie Brown and Lucy. I have to hang that up somewhere, somehow. Oh. <laughs> There's a string right here. I see how this works. Oh, that's, oh, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck. See, the only problem with mystery boxes is you don't know what's going to be inside. So you don't know how to uh, frame the picture. Guys, this is a great box. Look at this. It's a Peanuts Magic Slate, otherwise known as Super Slate. So you take out this pencil and then you would write on here and then you would just lift this sheet up and it would take all that writing away. Luckily this one has never been used. Look at that. And this is by Southfield. So this is probably from the 1960s I would guess. Oh, graduation centerpiece. This is by Hallmark. And it's kind of open here at the bottom. Oh, oh, pieces are gonna fall out. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull one of these out so you can see the honeycomb. How fun is that? Wouldn't you love to sit down at a table at a banquet and there's Snoopy dancing on his honeycomb decoration? With Woodstock, of course. And I think this square goes on top of the hat. The mortar board, as it were. Take a moment for some Molly attention. She's putting her head on my leg. Huh? What are you doing? She adopted this, these pieces of felt as her bed down here, so I'm gonna have to make her a little bed to sleep in, probably out of the same felt, since she apparently really likes it. Are you done with me? Are you done with me? <laughs> oh, 
People want to see what's in the box, Molly. They're like, what is that astronaut thing? I don't know what that is. Okay, you go explore the Peanuts books. Pick out a storybook for bedtime, and I'm going to get moving with this. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. Snoopy's moon messages. I have never seen this. Never. Look at that. I think it's I think it's stationary. Yeah. You can see on the back here that you fold it up into an envelope and then your friend would get this this moon in the mail. How cool is that? Wow. Sandy, you collected some amazing things. Like this Easter egg color kit. Look at that. I've never seen them this old. Here are some plastic party glasses. These are kind of cheap glasses that you would use one time only, probably. You usually only find these in the package. Sometimes they'll be out of the package. But, I mean, in the package is the way to go, because then they're protected and they're not getting broken. They don't seem like very solid plastic. <laughs> Here's a, a Mylar balloon. Oh, it says, welcome home. Oh, isn't that cute? I think here's another Mylar balloon. Also welcome home. This is a this is some balloons. Um, they're so old, the rubber has gone hard. So, uh, take a look at what we can see. There's a Woodstock. Um, there's a Linus in there. There's a Charlie Brown. And you can see, like, this is the back of the Woodstock here, and it says he, 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 he. Um, I, I don't know what to do to pry these apart. There's a, there's a Linus in there. Oh, I can't, I can't tell what the balloons say. I don't want to break them more than they already are, like this Lucy. But I, I didn't know that they had these old, I don't know what they're, what they're made of, rubber balloons. Next up, we have some Snoopy party picks for getting your hors d'oeuvres. Molly is very interested in this box. I don't know why. Hopefully there's no surprises. Here's some more party picks. This is a fun find. It's the official Peanuts baseball. I've always wanted one of these. Never found one. Oh. Let me set this down. The box is a little bent out of shape and I don't want to break it more than it is. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oof. Unfortunately, the bugs got to it. Oh, that's too bad. What's left here? Molly sees a ball and she's like, I just want to go for that ball. So I'm not sure if there was something here and it's been chewed off. Yeah, that's going to require some cleaning. 
I won't show you the inside. Oh my goodness. It's vacuum time, guys. Be back. Now, just so you know, when there are bugs, I check everything thoroughly, make sure there's no further contamination. All the stuff I've seen so far has been old damage. But anyway, let's talk about happy things like this contact paper. So back in the day, you would use this to cover your shelves. I don't, I don't know how many people still do that. This is a pretty fun design with the confetti. Here's a box of Avon. This is Snoopy on a raft. It basically looks like that. Oh, it's still, still got the bar of soap in there. It's mint. We'll look at that another time. Oh, look at this. It's the Snoopy Holiday on Ice pennant. Now, it kind of looks like this Snoopy is not licensed because of his belly button, but I think this is technically a licensed representation, even though the Snoopy's a little off model. Not sure how that happened. Maybe there's a story there. Let's see, here's a Peanuts mini puzzle. I've built these for the YouTube channel before, so be sure to check that out. Just to give you a little preview. It's puzzle pieces. Oh. Molly has gotten bored with us, but I know what we'll call her back. Okay, that's a bit weak. But you know what? There's another one. <laughs> A Snoopy sneaker. Plus, here's Linus. These are from the 90s, made by Con Agra, I believe. Yep. They're still fairly popular because it's hard to get Snoopy squeaky toys. A Pez dispenser. What are you eating? <sighs> She's always eating something. That dog. It's another Snoopy Pez dispenser. These these old cards sometimes just don't stand up to age. Don't eat whatever it is. Here's a Lucy. Sorry, I'm a little distracted by Molly. Oh! Here we go! There's another one she, she really, really wants to have, but... No vintage collectibles for you. Sorry. Sorry. You already know what this is. Some felt pennants. There's actually two here. So this one says, love is walking hand in hand. And we also have, it's amazing how stupid you can be when you're in love. Should I hang that one up for Alan when he comes home tonight? Here's the Snoopy birthday mug. Pop this out. You usually don't see these in the box. This was made by Determined in the 1970s, I believe. There's also a matching plate. Here's Snoopy's Lumber Company. This is a, a wooden truck with like plastic wheels. Sort of for like little kids that are gonna chew on things. I I don't know if I would let kids chew on this. I think that the the wood would suck up germs and stuff. Anyway, here's Charlie Brown Pez. You were wondering where he was. We just have to find a Woodstock in our collection will be complete. 
I'm just joking. I already have all of them many times over. We've got a little Snoopy Walker here. Why do you find this so fascinating today, Molly? There he is. Wow. He's still got his cardboard. <laughs> it was just $2 from the Hallmark store. He is most likely from the 1970s, made by Aviva. Here's a symbol. Yet another box where I found a triangle. I think once we get it through all these boxes, we'll have like an entire band. Speaking of which, here is a Snoopy musical guitar. Does it work? Oh, that's awkward. It doesn't seem like it's working. That's too bad. Maybe it just needs a little bit of a reminder of how it's supposed to work. That box is beautiful though. I think this had a little too much heat. Hey, things need cleaning. Here's a Snoopy snow cone machine. Looks like somebody paid $22.50 for this, which is an amazingly high price to pay. As years went by, this is a 1975 Hasbro one, so or 79? Hmm. Anyway, this is probably one of the originals, so maybe it's worth more, but they just kept remaking these year after year in different, different versions. So they got so incredibly common. I'm not sure how much they're worth anymore. Now, here is something I never expected I'd have for my collection. goodness a vintage California Snoopy license plate I mean there's an extra O in there but who cares look at that oh, I love it love it it's it's always that like unexpected find that's just amazing and I realize that there's a lot of fragile stuff underneath here, so I'm going to clear some stuff out, and we'll come right back. Here we have a Snoopy waffle maker? Yeah! That's what that is. Make some waffles. We had a couple of these when I was a kid. We loved them so much. The ear was the best part. It said there was Whitman's. Oh, good, there's no chocolate. There's a ton of Whitman's chocolate boxes. Look at all these. Oh, there's a different one. Feels like there's something in there. There isn't. I'm not going to go through all of these. You get the idea. Next up, we've got a bunch of centerpieces. Here we've got Snoopy and Woodstock playing football. Again, these are from Hallmark. We've got Snoopy's, Snoopy's party centerpiece. Oh, this one's cute. Does this come with a balloon? Oh my gosh, it, it did. It came with a, that balloon. That swirly pink and orange balloon. Oh, this is cute. It's uh, 
you would punch these out and decorate your house. And here's a Snoopy one. Just uh, Snoopy flying ace in here. What else do we have? Another Snoopy centerpiece. This one's been. I think this one's empty. This one's empty. But there's. There is a complete one unused here. It's really cute with the little mailbox. Next up, we have the Peanuts Super Slate. Fun with Snoopy. This is also a Southfield. You just don't see these very often. I think these are placemats. Yep! So we have these placemats for Christmas. They almost. They're not flocked. They kind of look flocked, but they're not. And here's a hush puppy. Wow. <laughs> so you know what goes with all these boxes? All the stuff that's in here. There's all sorts of Whitman's figurines in here. Let's move those a little bit closer. See if I can get it to focus for you. There we go. Oh, just does not want to focus. Here's a different one. I don't see this one very often. Let's see what else we've got. It's a Valentine's Day night. And an Easter egg. Oh. Here's a pirate ship. Another one for Halloween. Oh, this one you don't see too often. Snoopy as a Valentine's Day jester. Oh, there's even stuff in this surprise tin. See what the surprise is. Oh gracious. That there's still chocolate in there. <laughs> oh, please be intact. Oh my. This was a uh, marshmallow filled. That is just my sort of chocolate. And there was a little football figurine. And a sticker that came inside. So you would buy this tin and you wouldn't know what figurine or what toy, yeah, toy or sticker, there you go, look at that. And you, you knew what kind of chocolate you were getting, but surprise tin. There's a lot more surprise tins these days with all the blind box stuff. Here's some band-aids in case you hurt yourself rollerblading. Here's a Charlie Brown Avon bottle. I think it got a little munched unfortunately. It is still full of soap though. There's Charlie Brown. This is from Avon from the 70s. Oh, here's a Snoopy pen. Let's hope you can see this. This is my butterfly collection, I believe. I wonder if it still works. Here's some rubber stamps from Rubber Stampede. These are definitely from the 90s, I remember getting these back in the day. Here's a family sticker calendar. Does it say what year? 1995. These are great for all these little stickers that you would put on each, well not each day, on the important days. It's caramel corn. 
It's still in there. It's it's not moving though. It's just kind of stuck in there. How about that? From Canfections in Chicago, Illinois. Wow. I've never seen that before. These are fun. It's a welcome home banner. And mylar. I think this goes with the balloon we showed at the beginning. Yeah. How fun is that? Oh, here's a bag I recognize. This is from the 90s. It's a gift bag. This one's from Hallmark. Oh dear. Got some old stickers. Oh, they've all they've all just fallen off. They lost their sort of glue backing and they fell off. We've got some single napkins here. <laughs> Good thing they're not breakable, huh? worse for wear but I got a big stack of them <laughs> oh uh -huh. Let's see what else have we got there's this one and got that one Oh, we've got some party plates here. And our weird thing of the day, <laughs> it's Ziggy. Here come the goodies. Some Christmas plates. And some more plates here. It's a bunch of these. this box yeah we're done guys thanks for joining us for this wild tour of this mystery box special thanks to Roger for sending all these goodies along join us for our next mystery box by subscribing and also be sure to like this video be sure to join us on patreon.com to sponsor this video series Plus, check out all the articles on collectpeanuts.com. Check out our social channels at the links down in the description. And have a wonderful week. Bye!